Hello and welcome beautiful soul. I'm so glad that you're here today joining me. I'm so glad that you're interested in the information that I post because I do find it's extremely rele uh, relevant and I think it's pe um, something that people need to hear right now. These are messages that I'm bringing forth but they're messages for me as well. Like I receive these messages first um, and apply them in my own life and then once I see like the profound benefit and, and sort of have my this aha moment about it then I get super inspired to share it with you and so um yesterday in working with some really amazing people i had an opportunity to learn this really really profound beautiful lesson which i think is so relevant especially right now especially before christmas um and that's about stuff it's about the accumulation of stuff it's about things and like what we have in our life and um situations and even people um all kinds of stuff like it's not just necessarily material physical things but it's also like emotional burdens and uh spiritual mental burdens that we're also carrying and it's the message that came through loud and clear yesterday was about like elimination yeah uh, it was about purging and releasing uh stuff and people and situations like basically everything and anything that just doesn't work for you anymore um and everything and anything that makes you unhappy or just simply doesn't bring you joy it doesn't even have to make you unhappy just it doesn't bring you joy like true genuine joy then those are the things that it's time to let go and it's it's awesome like it's so liberating when you understand that you have an opportunity and you are more than capable of letting things go you just have to be willing to see like what it is that you have to let go and what are those things that are no longer bringing you joy so this week I went through this kind of purge through my own home and I went through my basement and just several rooms in the house, uh, including my Christmas stuff. Like I just went through kind of everything and I felt I really needed to just live, like everything I looked at was, does this bring me joy? Is this something that I, I feel a connection to? Is it bringing a, a memory of some kind? Is it uh, connecting me to like a certain person or or a situation or, and bringing memories from that? And, you know, do those memories bring me joy? Or is that something that I want to hang on to? Or, <clears throat> or are those things that I would prefer to perhaps just, you know, pass and, and let leave my life because they just don't serve me anymore or I just don't feel a connection to it anymore. So it's like that kind of thing. And it was awesome because this week I got, I literally filled a whole bedroom. Like it's not a huge, it's not like a hundred square foot bedroom, but I filled a whole bedroom with stuff, like just stuff that I just, I didn't find a use for. I didn't, I like, I looked at it. It didn't bring me joy. It was just like, wow. Like I just, felt this release this letting go this lightness once i did that it was like it was really profound it was so cool and i was like this is so awesome and exciting and i have to share this because it is the end of the year and we have the opportunity right now to to really just kind of like it's almost like a clean sweep like it's time and like we have to do this clean sweep before you know january kicks in and the new year um because why take things over into the new year if you don't have to especially things that you would and you could release right now, right? Like, why would you take those things with you? Um, it's not necessary. Uh, so a really simple way to look at every situation in your life, I'm talking people, um, situations, stuff, items, um, just ask yourself this one question, every single thing you look at, does it bring me joy? Like true, genuine heartfelt joy um and if it doesn't it's okay it doesn't have to bring you joy and that's the thing is it's more than anything this is this little exercise is more about you just helping to navigate through your own emotional world it's you helping yourself to figure out you know what it is that i'm actually connected to and want to be connected to and what are the things that i don't want to be connected to any longer it's so important to sort yourself out in this way um, emotionally because I find there's an incredible amount of stuff that we hang on to purely for emotional reasons and no other. Like it has no other value in our life other than some kind of a memory or an attachment. Um, you know, and then you just have to question though, like, does that attachment serve me? 
to have that thing, you know, still in my life or that person. And, and I want to talk about relationships for a moment because again, super relevant. <laughs> it doesn't even matter how old people are. I find, you know, we're relating from the time that we're children uh, with other people. So learning how to form healthy relationships with other people is vitally important for our, our own emotional, mental, and spiritual health. And if you're not if you're in a situation with a person who they could be the greatest person and, and they could be very nice and everything else but if you're just not feeling joy like when you're with that person and you don't feel like you feel like something is just sort of disconnected or or like it's just not quite whole as it is and you feel like something is missing then i think it's very important for you to recognize that and and be okay with letting it go and you have to let it go in a guilt-free way because guilt is something that our ego kind of generates i find a lot of times it's not something that your soul is necessarily communicating um so you have to really kind of assess the guilt that you feel with certain situations like what are you exactly feeling guilty about um like if it's if it's a relationship for example like are you feeling guilty to leave the person because like they're a really nice person and you know they have all these great qualities but just not everything is like really lined up with you um you know so it's like then are you feeling guilty like oh well i feel bad like like why am i getting rid of this person out of my life when when you know they're like they're nice and whatever yeah okay they're nice and that's wonderful but again does that person really truly bring you joy and if not then you know you gotta ask yourself like then why am i doing it it's it's really that simple like we humans don't make relationships so complicated it doesn't need to be complicated it's just simply love yourself enough to know that you deserve to be happy to know that you deserve to feel joy in your everyday life and if you're not feeling that joy in your everyday life, then what can you do to like fill your own cup to, to give to yourself? And in some instances, it's actually eliminating a relationship. It's actually, you know, perhaps telling somebody that it just no longer works. And that is you loving yourself to say, I have to say no to you to say yes to me. It's like that kind of a thing. You know what I mean? So there should be no guilt around that like if you're doing something because it brings you joy personally um i think you should do it regardless of what it is and regardless of what other people's opinions are because at the end of the day you are here to fill your own cup and there's this huge misconception in the world um and it's, it's this gap that i'm trying to bridge for people when it comes to relating to others is please stop expecting other people to fill your cup other people cannot fill your cup because nobody truly knows what you need you specifically need um and it, and in reality it's not really other people's job to figure that out it's your job to figure that out for yourself um because who knows you better than you like not even your parents know what your true full needs are and how they need to be met and that's the reality most parents actually don't know how to meet their children's needs um and it's just because they don't know who their children are you know and it takes uh open-mindedness uh and flexibility and um, compassion and those kind of things to be able to really understand each other so and we don't all have that um and that's okay too you know we i explain to people that we all develop at different times and at different levels we're not all the same and we shouldn't be expected to be the same because it's ridiculous <laughs> we don't like we all spiritually evolve at our own pace you know and you know somebody could be here and maybe the partner that you're with is like here so then there's this constant clash basically there's this constant gap that you're trying to bridge with this person but you just can't because they're not like spiritually evolved to the level of where you are and you could literally be just one step up or they could literally be just one step below you and already it's not a match you see what i'm saying so it's important to recognize that as well and i'm so sorry my 
<clears throat> voice is doing something super funky today. But it's really important to recognize that, like, if I'm not on par with somebody, then why, why would I force it? Like, why would I, we can't, um, we can't force others to evolve uh, faster, spiritually, emotionally, or mentally than what they are capable of. Okay, so that's just like a, that's bottom line, basic um, spiritual understanding. You just can't force people to evolve faster than they're evolve, evolving on their own pace. So because of that, it's, again, just focus on where your evolvement is at the moment and where am I right now and based on where I'm at, so if I'm on this plane, what aligns with me here at this plane and what what are the things that are in my life does, does that all still resonate with where I currently am right now? Um, because it may not. And as a matter of fact, 2020 has been the year for things kind of not working and um, everything that is not working becoming extremely apparent and obvious. This is 2020 and we still have about a month of it left. So I think it's, a, it's vitally important to close off this year um, really looking at everything in your life and, and where you're at at the moment and just recognizing and seeing like does everything I have in my life right now situations people things items everything does that all align with who I currently am in this moment that's it just ask yourself that question and then take your time Take your time and observe and look at every single one of those things. Look at the items, look at the people, look at the situations, look at the job and the career and the everything, everything, everything. Look at it all and just see. Do these behaviors, do these thought patterns align with me? Do these things and items align with me? Do these people and situations and friends align with me? Do these coworkers, does this work? Does this job align with me? Like. Ask yourself all of those things because when you do, you're going to get some answers. That's the beauty of asking questions. You get answers. And the only thing you have to do to get those and receive those answers and actually hear them is just to quiet your mind. So use the meditation as a tool. Take 10 to 15 minutes or 20 minutes, whatever you're capable of. It doesn't even matter. It's never about the time or the length of time necessarily. I always find it's about connecting. You can connect for 10 seconds and it could be more meaningful than somebody who's connecting for an hour but not focused, right? So it's just all about connection and going within. And again, as we're in heading into winter and winter solstice is around the corner for us, um, winter is going to be asking us to go within big time, to go within and externally and really operate from heart center and and sorting ourselves and our stuff out. You know, that's what this winter is gonna be about is you figuring out who you are and how you need to change and, and um, sort of remorph into this new being so that 2021 can be an amazing year for you. That's kind of what uh, this sort of last phase or last month of the year, last few weeks of the year is about. So with that, I'm gonna leave you to Really ask yourself some deep questions. Ask yourself if you're willing to let go, what you're willing to let go of, what you're not wanting to take into, into the following year, into 21. Ask yourself who and what situations, uh, what people, what situations in your life are, um, are currently serving you or not serving you. You know, who brings you joy? What brings you joy? Um, and soul search and just soul search. You know, ask these questions. The more questions you ask yourself, the more you put out there, the more answers you're going to get, especially if you're open to them. Um, I always say transformation is always based upon willingness. It's nothing else. It's just willingness. How willing are you to change? So may that be the last question I leave you with now and take some time, ponder, think about it. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, let me know. Again, excuse me for my super raspy voice this morning, um, but uh, hopefully the message still comes across loud and clear um, and hopefully guides you in some way to wherever it is that you need to be guided. And really that's mostly just to find yourself and find your true identity, which is within you, not outside of you. 
So have a beautiful day, guys. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Love yourselves. Be good to yourselves. And don't forget, if it doesn't bring you joy, don't do it. Love you. Peace out. Have a great day. Bye.